I'm for immigration, but doing it correctly. We cannot just have everybody come in. There's going to be a lot of crime. And certainly a terrible waste of resources that could be used for other things uh, the country and the Valley need. The Valley seems to be split on the issue of having active military on the border. But whether they agree with it or not, soldiers are here and are already being hands-on at the McAllen Hidalgo International Bridge, adding barbed wire where the two countries collide. Operation in anticipation of the caravan. The Rio Grande Valley Border Patrol Sector Chief Manuel Padilla Jr. says the troops are here to help to prevent what happened at the Mexico-Guatemala border. Um, if they show up, we definitely do not want an unruly situation where you have people uh, doing what they did in Mexico and in Guatemala. Congressman Vicente Gonzalez says there needs to be a different way to prepare for the caravan. I, I think that we've got to uh, be cautious of how we deal with any groups, mass groups of people. So I don't really understand uh, the sense in, in putting up those wires and putting up these doors. I don't know that they'll have any real value if we had 5,000 people show up to any port of entry. While the estimated time of arrival for this migrant caravan is two months away, Valley residents continue to either show support I stand with President Trump and him sending troops or oppose the militarization of their hometown. They don't really have much care uh, to how the border will be impacted by an escalation of uh, you know, troops, for instance. Reporting in McAllen with complete Valley coverage, Clara Benitez, CBS4 Valley Tonight.